Good evening, folks. Uh, today we have Mr. Peshwa Acharya, CMO of Sterling Holidays. Welcome, sir. Hi. Thank you for coming on our show. So, how's Sate been? Well, this is kind of my fourth or fifth year here. And uh, Sterling as a company, I think we have been engaging with Sate for years more. Um, to me, Sate is a great thing. Uh, because it's a place where we meet a lot of our colleagues, ex-colleagues, industry, network. I hope we do some business also, uh, so that business doesn't become incidental. But essentially, it's a good uh, platform for meeting, that's what I think. So that's on the professional side. At a personal level, you know, I, uh, I keep on saying that I have a great job now, because this is like the Japanese ikakai. You know, this is a job which I like doing, and uh, travel and holidays close to my heart. So as a consumer also, I pick up a lot of trends. You know, some of the new destinations, I visit some of the stalls, what's happening. Uh, so it's a good, uh, interesting thing. But as usual in India, anything you do, there's a huge amount of population density. So infrastructure sometimes creaks, but that's that's India for you. I guess that's part and parcel of it. So since you, since you spoke about your personal connections as well, can you uh, talk about your journey to to Sterling Holidays and how has it been uh, with them? Well, my journey, I have been with Sterling Holidays for the last five years, uh, four and a half, five years. Essentially, out of my corporate career of around 27 years, I'm essentially an FMCG, retail, telecom, e-commerce, and now hospitality guy. Uh, I essentially don't think businesses are very different. You know, there are certain things in business which are very clear, which is that you have to deliver value to the consumers, the consumers are changing, understand their needs, build a business model which can give that value and do it at a profit. So essentially this remains same across, you know, whichever industry it is. Uh, but if you tell me right now, I think Sterling, we are at an interesting, uh, you know, uh, uh, position. You know, it's like a hockey stick of Sterling, if you may call, um, where uh, Sterling is a legacy company. We have been there for 30 years. But this is the time when the company is really transforming itself. So today, I think, I don't know how many of you know, but Sterling is a hybrid business model. So 50% of my business is what is called timeshare or vacation ownership or membership. And 50% is normal resort holiday FIT, that's the way. And uh, we are positioning ourselves as an experiential holiday company because we believe that today for many of the operators, resort operators, uh, things like uh, rooms and food and infrastructure and accommodation, these are more or less given. These are what I call hygiene factors. It's the plus over that which makes a difference and which makes the preference and builds the brand and that's where consumers want to go and repeat. So in our case, clearly it's about experience, that's what we're wanting to deliver. And uh, in fact, we have just created a sub-brand called Sterling DNE. Okay. So DNE means discoveries and experiences. It's a very interesting sub-brand we have created, you know, and uh, I can possibly show you the leaflet, but at a later time. We have created another sub-brand called Sterling DNE Impressions. So, you know, this is ways of taking these discoveries and experiences to the consumer in a structured marketing manner. And I, I, I think not too many other hospitality companies and holiday companies are thinking on that. Everyone is talking experience, but no one is really giving that experience. So I think this is one differentiator. So this is one. Uh, the second point, of course, is for us, growth is important. So we want to grow. We are right now around 40 odd resort stroke destinations and our objective and endeavor to, to grow to around 60, 70, that's what we want to grow to. Um, and interestingly, Sterling not only goes into the usual holiday destinations like Darjeeling, Goa, uh, Kuti, um, Kodai Canal, it also goes into interesting new unique destinations. Uh, what in holiday parlance sometimes we call it offbeat. I call it a little unique, that's what I call it. For example, our one of the destinations which we have gone to is a place called Anaikatti. That's really northern Kerala, very near from Coimbatore and very near to what is called the Nilgiri Biosphere Silent Valley. Outstanding uh, place, small resort, but again extremely unique, a lot of people don't know. Uh, the other one which we launched I think around 15 days ago is again a very interesting place. It's in the district of Iduki in Kerala. It's a place called Rajakad. It's uh, kind of in between Munnar and Periyar. So we have a resort in Munnar and we have a resort in Periyar Thekadi. So this is really the strategy of Sterling that we are essentially wanting to unfold India in a certain manner where so much in India is there. And really 
build and corroborates the thing called Incredible India. So, uh, since you spoke about transformation and growth, uh, the current data says 50% uh, of uh, Indians are millennials, working millennials, and they would be your pr primary target as a, as a company and as a brand. Uh, what's your understanding of this target audience and what are the initiatives uh, or, or campaigns that you all have set to engage with these audience? I actually, as a marketing and a business person, look at it slightly differently. I think it is a little bit of the old lazy marketing where we think that millennial marketing is anything different. I don't think millennial is about age. Millennial is about a mindset. Uh, it's a mindset. Uh, our target audience essentially is between 25 to 55, all the people. But one, what we mean by a millennial mindset is that the person who is wanting to do things differently and that's why we have said holiday differently. So to me it is not so much demography, it's more of mindset difference. And I think strongly um, that millennials essentially want experience and the experience has to be different every time. So that way they are a very difficult set of customers to handle. They do not want that same product to be coming to them every time. They want different experiences. Uh, and of course they also seek value. So, and uh, they discover through um, what is called the digital platforms. So uh, typically traditional selling of, you know, what is called offline selling can not be the only way. You have to do a lot of digital selling and on the internet. So that's the other trend from millennials. I think the fourth trend also from a millennial point of view is that they don't necessarily always believe in uh, set structured conventional advertising. So for them you have to create credible content. So my present marketing strategy as Sterling is essentially most of my emphasis is on creating credible content. And I'm trying to do it through the medium called audiovisual, AV, and uh, distributing it through the digital medium. So this is the structure of my strategy. So uh, which part? So millennials, uh, the industries definitely recognize the fact that content to commerce is a journey with the millennials or Generation Z. So what stage of that journey uh, is Sterling Holidays at? Again, I think it's, you know, it's an evolving process. Huh? So I think what we are trying to do is a few things. Number one, uh, we are now selling through uh, internet and digital system. That's the first thing. Second thing is we are distributing content through um, uh, digital and audiovisual medium. That's number two. Number three is we strongly believe that you have to provide experiences at your resort and destination. Otherwise, if you just talk of experience and not provide, it doesn't help. So this is our thought. So I cannot really talk of the industry, but I think we are really in a sweet spot of taking things forward. And I think the people who have a millennial mindset, if I may use, would definitely use Sterling and come back to Sterling. So what can we expect out of Sterling in the next five years? Uh, well, I can't project five years, but I can tell you right now, you know, we are kind of um, ensuring that we are branding many of our, you know, our offerings. So we have something called Sterling DNA discoveries and experience. We have another one called Sterling DNA impressions. We have another thing called Sterling Maximize which is not a normal mice but a maximize. The next one we have something called Sterling Destination Wedding. So these are some of the brands which we have already launched. And you will see a few more brands which I am sub-brands under the Sterling umbrella which we will be launching. And our endeavor is to really take the network to around 60 to 75 to 100 destinations across India. Oh, fantastic. And uh, what's your, what's your uh, agenda for the next two days at Sati? I'm here today and tomorrow. Um, I think to, today was essentially our business meetings. Tomorrow I would like to uh, kind of get some information and learning best practices from some of the other exhibitors and meet some of them and maybe attend one or two of the sessions as you may. In fact, one of my comments is that I think moving forward, if Sate as an organization on a platform wants to take leadership stance, I think uh, it has to grow beyond just a networking and a sales exhibition platform. Uh, a few good quality sessions uh, can be done, workshops, interactions. So this is one of my submissions to UBM management. Fantastic. So thank you for joining us and have a wonderful Sate experience. Thank you so much. Look forward. Thanks. Thanks.